A local plant could shut down in two years. Workers at Goodrich Landing Gear say they've been told they could lose their jobs to a plant in Canada. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson is live in Cleveland tonight with reaction. Well, Danita, something we have heard far too often, more Ohio jobs heading to another country, leaving hundreds of older workers out of work. It's a shame. It's a shame because this is a good place, good place to work. Goodrich workers make landing gear for F-16s and other U.S. military planes. Tonight, they're the ones hoping for a soft landing. Employees say the company announced plans to close the plant by 2012 and send their work to a plant in Canada. It's not good. More jobs leaving our country. And that's what it comes down to is corporate greed. Cleveland needs the jobs, and yet nobody will stand up to keep jobs in Cleveland. Nobody will stand up to keep jobs in Cleveland. The company will not comment, but workers say 200 to 500 jobs are on the line. The company has been shedding jobs for months. Only employees with the most seniority remain. Our workforce is so old right now, our average work age is in the mid-50s. Where does anyone go find a job at this point in time, you know? Especially when they knew you worked here for 30 years or more. Union members say there are no concessions they can make, nothing they can do to save jobs that are now on a wing and a prayer. I think everybody's on edge. We're just concerned about our jobs, that's all. We just want to know what's going to go on. And right now at this point, it's real early. It's real early. So we're just going to stay uh, hopeful and prayerful. Now the workers say they have no idea when the layoffs could actually begin. Again, the company not making any comment at this time. The union says most employees at Goodrich make up to $30 or more an hour. Jobs not easily replaced in this economy. Live in Cleveland, Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5. All right, Curtis, thank you very much.